Hey there boys and girls. So we went to a Volkswagen show today and uh, I've kind of noticed the trend at some of the certain shows they start with not a great swap meet and then it kind of starts going down to nothing. And uh, this one, it's a good show, lots of cool cars, but it's kind of getting that way there where the uh, just the swap meet is no good. But I found something kind of cool. These are, they don't, I don't think they've ever been ran. Old school dune buggy is awesome. You can see I got a the newer style. These fit for dual carbs. These will not. But if you look about these a little differently than others that you'll see, it has a swivel flange. And up here it has a preheat. Not only does it have a preheat, that's a cast iron preheat. And these are actually cloned brand. I don't think you can see the name so well right there. Right on the bottom. Looks like they dented that one in there a little bit there. Actually it's cast that way. But that's kind of cool. You don't see that anymore with the cast iron ends. You don't, I don't think there's anything made with cast iron ends anymore. But it actually has a cast iron in here so that it can incorporate the preheat and uh, just, you know, be a little more durable. So, the gentleman was trying to sell these, and I just gave him an offer, and he took it. As you can see, if you look at it, this is really small piping. You know, that probably may have been for a 40 horse or something, and the uh, little uh, glass packs look like they're kind of small. But, uh, picked that up cheap. Um, I already got a whole bunch of other ones, but I'd seen that with the cast ends, and I was like, yeah, hey, I'll buy it. You know, it's the only thing I bought at the show anyway. We uh, get over here. We had fun. Um, John had a few little goofy things with the car. Nothing big, but we all got home. I did not take the bug as um, it has a four-inch narrow beam, and the show was 130 miles away. And I just kind of didn't feel right about taking the bug with the possibility of if it broke down, I can't tow it home without renting a trailer or getting a tow truck, you know, it cost me like $300 to tow the car home if I had to do something like that, because nobody I know has a car trailer. Plus, I'd have to come, you know, get a U-Haul or whatever, a trailer and a truck, and drive it all the way back and deal with all that. So, I sat this one out and, uh, you know, just kind of rode with somebody else. It was kind of, it was still a good time, and I liked it, so... Anyways, we're going to start going on a diet here. I'm going to make a video real soon here. We're going to pull off the uh, front bumpers here. Um, weigh all my garbage that's in the car. As you can see, there's other stuff in the car. There's the uh, jumper pack. Um, I took it to the local scales the other day. And with me and my three boys in it, it weighed 2,120 pounds. So... There are 120 pounds of it all together with maybe one car seat. So it's about a 2,000 pound car, you know, um, with all the stuff that I had in it when I drag race it. So I'm going to do a little short video. We'll take a um, camera and show you how much each piece weighs, and I'll probably list it out. And then after that, we'll have to get on a diet. I'm getting fat. <laughs> I've been getting fat. So uh, we'll have to um, fix my weight problem, too. And uh, we're going to play with the wastegate a little bit and uh, fill up the hole in the exhaust. And that's all I'm going to do. I'm going to um, see if that alone, if I can keep boost at 10 pounds. And if I can uh, lose as much weight as I can out of the car. I'll probably t I will probably take the passenger seat out after thinking about it. I will keep the back seat in. And I'll just take all the stuff out of the car to lighten it up and run like a quarter tank of fuel. And we'll take it back to the track maybe next month and see what it runs. So I'll see you guys later. Hopefully you all are doing good. It's damn warm. It's starting to get cold everywhere. And uh, get out there and uh, work on your cars if you can. I understand some places are frozen over. So I'll see you guys later.